and Jamie Lee. I ain't got no problem with Jamie Lee. Oh, yeah. But. <laughs> In the words of Easter Egg, I'm voting for everybody black. One. <laughs> and then two. And just like stellar performance. Did y'all so, see Courtney's face? Courtney was like, yeah, I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? so, that movie was, well, that movie was mad weird. There was nothing about it that was just, like, oh my gosh, what a performance. It was a weird ass movie. So, like, I couldn't understand the movie. <laughs> nothing about it said, oh, this is Oscar worthy. Nothing I, about it. To me, it was a simple, this woman has never won an Oscar. This woman's never won an Oscar. She's white. We're going to give it to her. Or because of Angela Bassett's role in um, Black Panther may not have been to most like a supporting kind of role. It probably felt more like a lead role in a sense. Maybe I get you that. But I just think you shouldn't have put it in the category then. Because right. to me, you put it in the category. That was clearly the better performance. I mean, everybody... Jamie, she didn't even look like she expected to win. No, she, yeah, she was like, stop She's it. Like, Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> it was a Jamie Lee Curry. Everybody was just like. So the. Uh, <laughs> Courtney was like. Huh? Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> stupid. the SAG Awards is like usually the pre dumb cursor to who will win the Oscar. And the SAG Award is voted on by their peers. Mm -hmm. So they vote for each other. Mm -hmm. She won the SAG. So it just made sense. She was going to win the Oscar. And the did. did the thing. It's clearly, and Bella Bassett did the thing. But the but Jamie Lynn won the SAG, so she was set to win. So that's just the way it's. Wait, it's Jamie. Uh, Jamie Lee won the the he won the SAG award. Yeah. Also, Angela Bassett Angela didn't win anything. Only won the Golden Globe. Yeah. That was it. The rest of the awards were won by Jamie. So it just made sense. Uh, so yes, we all yeah. wanted her to win. We wanted Angela to win, but she should have won back in 19... She should have won for Betty Shabazz. Mm -hmm. She should have won for How Tina Turner. How many movies do like black legends have to make before make, they win? Right, right. That's like you right. look at all these other white folks. These dudes been winning Oscars since they were like young, making movies. Like, and it's just like how many? Like, and the thing like, I don't want to hear. Street done one. I like, saw people <laughs> posting like oh, Angela Bassett's, um, you know, whatever you call like their movie credits and all this other stuff it's legendary we don't care about you know the oscar and this that nah i care you know why no. i care because that's the award that they get for their accomplishment mm -hmm. just like if you play basketball it. you want an nba championship that's champion. what you want that's the pinnacle uh -huh. of your thing you deserve that award i don't want to hear like oh not nah, her catalog surpasses this nah man she does <laughs> how many movies people got to make before they win something right. like you look like Will Smith got one. Jamie Foxx got one. Denzel they got like one. Viola they... Davis got like one. Oh and it's God. just like, yo. And then when you think about history, it's like these people have legendary movies all like just all throughout history. Hey, you run but down the no list. No wins. Run down the list of all and of their movies no that wins. they like they play they ass off in the movie. Like no disrespect, but Lawrence Fishburne. Training day? Come on, they one for Training Day. Train yeah, They're that not, was the movie. They were not oh, going to give it to him for Malcolm X. They were not Monsters going Ball. To give it. Like yeah. these were, were not Training. Going to give it for I Malcolm mean, yeah, Training Day is a great movie. I didn't watch the movie and go, "This is Oscar worthy." It exactly. was a great movie, 
Monsters Ball was a good, it was a great movie. I didn't watch it and go, this is Oscar. This is Oscar. Like, no. <laughs> made me feel good. Yeah, made me feel good. Oh, like, how much you to make me feel good? Like, I was like. I felt like she got an Oscar for a porno uh, scene. Yeah. Like, like, these are the movies like these, like, this is what you chose. To, I don't understand. Like, yes. It just Jay. doesn't make sense to me. Jay. But if there is the art, if these are the people that vote, these but are the I will say, producers and stuff know, that vote. I, I will say, even though, like, he was so believable in Malcolm X, but when he did training day, like, from the time he came on that screen, I was like, yo. He he was a straight gangster. No, great movie. Great. Oh, he movie. he played his part. Yeah, he played his part. But, you know, like I, American Gangster is probably probably one of my top Denzel movies. Yes. But he's nothing. playing nothing. Malcolm X, nothing. Like he's played so many pivotal roles yeah. and nothing. Like nobody I can don't tell even me know. that Angela was not Tina. Exactly. Right. So is it safe to say, so um, um, you know me, I like to go down the street and come back. So remember <laughs> we had discussed that, uh, I think out of the presidents, uh, 43 out of the presidents um, in America, all their bloodlines, including Obama, all lead to the same king. Remember we talked about that? Mm -hmm. And I said, then why do we even vote? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then the Oscars, shit is garbage when it comes down to the voting part process. Garbage. It's just a popularity contest. Mm -hmm. It's high politics. School. It's I politics. Say it, it, right. I it's politics. Say them, it's, uh, them, the popularity, I would say it's the politics of it because. And, and I remember years ago, my mother had a patient um, who he was on a committee. He was one of the people that. um was was voting for the Oscars and we used to get the, the the actual movies like way in advance. So like he had VCR tapes and we were watching movies, <laughs> you know, that was our bootleg, but was actually good copies. Um, so they are, they technically picked by their peers. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you, know, you know, I don't know. But if you think about the top 10 biggest selling movies and they're all of them are not Oscar um like I think movies. I think Will Smith um played an excellent role in Pursuit of Happiness. Oh yes. yes. I love that I, movie. He I played will cry to this day. He played oh, an I excellent role it. in oh my god, he played an excellent role in that um oh, in that god. film. When it was in that damn train station sleep. Oh my God. That, uh, blubbering. I mean, blubbering. I was blubbering, you know, in that movie. Then you want to get your life in order. you like, a girl, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you do and I, I tell my husband all the time, I'm just like, you're a good papa. I say that all the time. You're a good papa all the time, just because of that movie. But, yeah. you know, th the thing about it is with the Oscars, you have these like and and i and and it's no no shade no no slight to you know immigrants that come over here and because if you notice um the the gentleman that won for supporting i forgot his name for he was also in that movie he, everything all at once we quan yeah him he, he actually had me, I, I teared up a little with his speech because yeah. his, his speech was very heartfelt. And you know, he was just like, you know, you could be anything. This is the American dream. This is American dream. And you know, all these people come over here and you know, he's like, I came over here on a, I was in a refugee camp and I came over here and I, you know, I had nothing and I spent this time in a refugee camp. And now I'm here on the stage with an Oscar in my hand and he kissed the Oscar and he was, you know, it was such a, a passion, passionate speech. And, you know, and then you have us that were born here. That's that labored here that that actually have 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 gone to school for the arts here that have you know put in the dues here 
cat till till the field here but don't get the same You understand what I'm saying? They and don't even get the same pay. Viola Davis was talking yeah. about that the other day. She's like, yo, yeah. I done did all this stuff. People talk about you're the black Meryl Streep. She was like, yeah, so why you ain't paying me? Like, hey, right. like, <laughs> like Meryl Streep. The way Viola could cry on cue. <laughs> oh, snot. Snot and everything. Like, um, what's, what's my girl um, from The Help? That was also with Viola. Um, Octavia. Octavia. She said that one of her co-stars in the 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 water that water um, movie that she had to her co her white counterparts had to literally fight for her shape to get water. yeah shape of water had to fight for her to get the same pay as she did. And what kind of what what kind of you know. Listen, and I tell you, I've been in the game for a, a minute. minute. Mm-hmm. And, and it's sad that we're we're still we're still talking about SHIT like this today. And that that part that really bothers me. Man, niggas want to bring a pretty woman. <laughs> and Pretty Woman is probably one of my top ten movies. I Trash. love some Pretty Woman. Trash. But I will say, you don't like that movie? Trash. <laughs> I Father used to of watch the Bride. That movie. Trash. I used to watch that movie almost every day. They've been playing it a lot on cable. Little Richard House Gere. On the yeah, yeah, yeah. Trash. And back then, Richard Gere. He said, Father of the Bride. Is Richard Gere? Back All then? Let's see. No, it's not. All of them. And all I'm that just being the authority he <laughs> had. So um, I, I was watching the Daily Show. Then the the host was Marlon Wayans, and he went to um to Harlem to ask people who were they rooting for for the Oscars. <laughs> he went to Harlem. He was on the street. Marlon is stupid. And so of course he's asking. The everyday people about these movies. They had not heard of, of any of the movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a good point you made, Shauna. They had not, they didn't know the somebody said that Marlon should have won an Oscar for white chick. Yo, <laughs> that, yo, that movie. Oh, what a oh. Bitch. So, I will forever watch that movie. Triple T K A. Hey. <laughs> so to say the the it's not for the everyday like person. It's you know it's like for a, their a own, you know you know it's their form, you know it's their art that's for them to. You but know, you know what, what bothers I, me? I still think that Wakanda Forever should have gotten. Was besides Ruth E. Carter, congrats yes. to Ruth E. Carter yes. for winning for costume design. She is the the she the is the guru black woman to win twice Oscars. That's like you know I had made a complaint one time, um, and I'm not gonna say the organization, but this particular organization, when you go on a website, it don't represent the people that really work out in the field. It, it looks like the people in the office and it looks very, you know, one-sided. But when you look at the, the true workers of that organization, sure. they don't look nothing like the people on that website. And okay. that's what the Oscars are. It's just this big fluff and the movies that we watch, besides, you know, Wakanda Forever, are not mm-hmm. on these Oscars. And it's like, Vitamins and bad boys and all. And my that. question is, but why don't they fit in that cat? Why don't they fit in your 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 categories? Like I'm not understanding. So something is very off, and the problem I find is that um I don't know. I just that's why I don't watch the Oscars. Like I, I saw um E news when they were showing like what Rihanna wore. Mm-hmm. I love it. I didn't watch it. Either. She sang. Mm-hmm. I, I did see her she performance. 
I didn't watch it. I saw a little snippet of um, my girl, Lady Gaga. She wore <laughs> jeans and a t-shirt. T-shirt yeah. And she sang. I, lo- I love the way like, Lady Gaga sang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was singing. Um, but I just, you know, the, the Oscars is just, ugh. It's not Oscars good. to me is like going to the restaurant and order, ordering crackers with, uh, what is that? What's those uh, fish eggs? Caviar. Caviar. Yeah. And paying $1,500 for the fucking meal. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But, but like, I'm menu, still hungry. But the menu does have burgers and fries. But like, ah, I went to crackers. <laughs> and your stomach's still rumbling. He's like, I'm still hungry. <laughs> yeah. What is that? What is that, quiche and patty? <laughs> <laughs> I need more. I won, I won, I won. Fuck you. (laughs) I think we, I think we all, we all feel like Courtney B. Vance. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Cats is always getting snubbed, man, like for everything. You trying to tell me that Will Smith and Jamie Foxx didn't deserve Oscar nominations for Ali? Exactly. You're trying to tell me that Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx didn't deserve anything for Just Mercy? Just Mercy? That one, yeah. Yo, he wasn't even on the ballot. Yeah. The movie was he the movie was not on the ballot. Yeah, like, like, like never make it. And that's my question. Like, why nobody say, yo, what about nah, they don't make it when it's black people? Right. That's true. Dumb because Till. And the woman. Oh kids, yeah, till and the woman. King. Yeah, nominated. you're right. You're right. So the woman kids. I didn't watch it. So woman king did get nominated. Didn't get all. anything. And woman king was amazing. Oh, that, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all got not some. even a nominee. The only reason why um, Angela Bassett got nominated was because it was a Marvel movie. Mm. And Marvel movies uh, don't don't get nominated at all. No. Oh. So the fact that the fact that Wakanda. This is the second time. That um, it has, it has um, been nominated. And it, it's film. only been it's only been Black Panther. Black Panther. Interesting. Okay, so we gotta be grateful for that. Shoot. Let, let me tell that. you something. Let me tell you something nomination. about the great. Let me tell you something about the greatness of Ryan Coogler. You know, Kaya, we know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kaya gonna go in right now. Let me tell you about, something about my brother, about Ryan Coogler. He doesn't need to hide you. He must. He got a hire. I know. I got a good petition. He need to find a role for you. Something. Let me tell you something. My let me tell you something. My brother. He he he, he went out there. And he laced that. He even though Umar Johnson is trying to give him fifty thousand lashes for the gentrification of Wakanda. I love Umar. <laughs> Cause why I don't, you know I don't care whatever come out of Umar's mouth, no matter how serious the shit is, self it's like a comedy show. He be having me weak. He be having me weak. <laughs> it be some real legit like, oh, I just learned some good history, but the shit be straight funny because <laughs> the way that he said. <laughs> he said I went. How he said I went there, and then and, and now now vibranium is 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 not just for Wakanda; it's for Mexicans. And he repeats everything like three times. <laughs> no, like five times. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, this dude says everything mad times. Ryan Coogler was um him at well, I mean Michael B. Jordan directed Creed 3, but he was he worked with him um on it too. Yeah. Mm. Yo, y'all should go see Creed 3. It was fire. I'm super gonna... like super fire. I yeah. can't wait to see. Well, it. John Jonathan, let me tell you something, because of the fact that no, we will refuse to watch Lovecraft Country. Mm, I, I am. Look, I have a very good reason I for not wanting to watch that. We, right? I, am, I remember. I, I would have watched it had that not been the first thing that I seen. <laughs> and I was uncomfortable. Well, Jonathan Majors was, I, I learned about him from um, Love Lovecraft Earth. Country. And he played Tick in Lovecraft Country, and he played the heck out of that role. <laughs> so after that, I was just like, I was campaigning. Once I found out that they canceled that, I was like, what? No, we got to yeah. bring it back. But they yeah. were like, it was a period piece. It was too much money to keep. And, da, 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 da. 
And I was just like, no, it was a black director, it was black writers. Why? We got to bring it back. I'm but sure. no. The right uh, for... no. That was entirely too much space. No, honestly. <laughs> no. But thank God for the lucky. You said he spent uh, a lot. He said it was a loogie. It was he was out here booty gunning. Yeah. <laughs> um, Wait, you think he used the washcloth afterwards? <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, help me! On that note, do we have any closing messages? Um, Put down stop the white playing box. with people. <laughs> what you said, Noe? To put down the white box, get you a color TV. I'm weak. I'm weak. He took us back. He took us back to the water fountain days. And <laughs> right there. What what Miss Millie said in the color purple? I've been nothing but good to you, colors. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> I've been nothing but good to you, Collins. Chris is still pending. <laughs> we should have we should have had his picture there the whole time. <laughs> right. He'll he'll be here for the next episode. He'll be here for the next one. All hearts and minds clear. Oh, the no, of our Lord. <laughs> As he has his um uh, he, he about to go fight um Creed Adonis. <laughs> it looked that looked comfortable though. That's what I said. It looked nice and plush. Yeah. So to Amazon my family. Basics. I can't Amazon basics. To my family. Mm-hmm. No Noe B. Eve, Keisha, and Shauna Dawn. I'm Lachayim. We're between family. Until next time. Peace.